Sydney, do Sydney Powell. I was saying this with the Sydney Powell thing because this is the problem: is when we, everything that we've talked about as far as voter fraud and irregularities are things that can be proven, right? Things right, that yeah. we've already now. It, it, some of the evidence can be circumstantial, but it certainly warrants an investigation. We were all surprised by the claims from Sydney Powell. We all yeah. said, "Ooh." That's very specific, and it's not a claim that we've made, and it's not a case that I would be making unless they had hard evidence. And I know we saw that. We talked about how she's one of the most respected attorneys, really, in that field. Yeah. And now, by the way, she was never officially on retainer for Donald Trump, for people who don't necessarily understand everything that's going on there, and so she's pursuing a different case. But there still is, there does seem to be a little bit of a weird divide. Yeah. Um, it seems to me, and I mentioned to get uh, half Asian Bill's opinion as a, as, as a lawyer here, that either she, she seems so confident. She either has sure. something rock solid, or, and this happens to the best of us, has gone around the bend and is crazy. It doesn't seem like there's an in-between at this point. Well, it's possible. I mean, the only middle explanation is she received evidence that she thought was very, you know, very true, went out on a limb by saying it publicly, and then somehow received something else in the meantime that discredits that evidence. But you're right, and, and my particular opinion on it is that uh, Sidney Powell has built an incredible career. She has stood up for a number of patriotic conservative causes uh, across the board, whether against Republicans or Democrats, right. and would only go out on a limb to say something like this if she had very credible evidence. And it would right. be, uh, you know, I mean, even those kind of allegations that she was making, and if substantiated, are in incredibly serious. They're yeah. of a whole nother level beyond what we've ever seen before. Right. Um, and so if they end up being true, if they if they don't admit true, it was a major misstep. It will set oh, back yeah. the conservative legal movement right. substantially. It will be held up as the example of you just can't believe any Republican lawyer, conservative, right. you know, defending lawyer because of of you know going too far out on a limb, and it makes me concerned. Now that being said, people have really misunderstood. I think it's clarified a little bit about her separation. It's more about the timing seems strange, and there's a vacuum there about okay, well then what exactly is she doing? Like, okay, fine. She's not representing Trump individually. Okay, that maybe that makes sense. Maybe she's not representing the campaign. Right. Maybe there's attorney-client privilege issues. Maybe there's a joint representation issue. Maybe she's just assisting on a criminal case, right. which she can't do. It's prosecutors have to do that, and yeah. all she'd be doing is providing information. But I can come up with five, six, seven different scenarios, but which of them is the true Something scenario? Something to me, though, that is interesting is that uh, uh, Dominion is not... She said, I hope Dominion sues me and that we go to civil discovery. And instead, Dominion shuttered many of their offices, all right. of their employees... A good portion mm. of employees completely wiped their LinkedIn's. Yeah, um, huh. yeah. So they've been they've been scurrying yeah. like rats. I mean, if someone came yeah. out and said Stephen Crowder lied about the pre-voting data in Ohio, mm. right, which is what made me very confident. I wanted to bet more than one dollar. Yeah. I'd be pretty pissed. <laughs> now, I probably wouldn't sue over that. But if someone said right. that everything we do is, for example, I'm a secret liberal and you know a shill like I don't know, there have been some people out there, a grifter, I'd, I'd sue them. Right. Yeah, she's exactly. saying she's basically saying Dominion is designed to be fraudulent. Mm. That is obviously something that is actionable if you can prove it's false, but she seems to invite sure. civil discovery. So I, I wonder how much of that is a strategy and then maybe it didn't pan out. She thought they were going to sue her and she didn't think they would run so quickly. Well, if you're trying to get someone to sue you, you've, it's, it's, the ball is entirely in their court, right? You right. can't, yeah, you exactly. can't like, lure them into a cave, right? Like They have to do it. And so if she's making statements like that, we've seen a number of different examples in the public world where someone is forced to say something and then the other person sues them for defamation and it turns out that it's true. Right. Because right, yeah. now, as soon as you make that allegation of defamation, you, you're you literally inviting the other person to look everywhere under the hood to prove like that John what Travolta. they said is true. Like we just thought you were with a male masseuse. We didn't know you did. We didn't know that you had he must wear a sailor outfit in the no. rider. Jeez. Right. Don't leave a paper trail Those like hard that, to find. Danny Zuko. Well, and I feel like right now, Bill, this could be the case too, where there's a lot of like circumstantial things. There's a lot of like we we just feel and we know, but we can't prove. Right. And I feel like and that's not a crutch. You can't you can't go out and do what she did in public and just say, well, I just I thought, but I couldn't eventually I, I prove it because she, she said sure. she, she was gave going very to provide specifics, proof, which right? again yeah. is like and she doesn't seem to be far. one to go out publicly with specifics without having double right. triple checked. So that's what makes me think, like, did she get something that she thought was real evidence? And she's not she's not been that careless in the past. Yeah, it, it would yeah. it would be very it would be not disappointing would even be the right word. No, it no, no. It would be very, very bad. It for would be catastrophic. It would be very out of character. It would have been incredibly out of character. Right. Right. Especially given what she's done for General Flynn and for others. I mean, again, the, the track record is there to just say, like, look, something's going to happen or it won't, right? It right. will either happen this week or maybe next week or whenever it is, or the, the lie or the lie or the lack of support will be revealed. Yeah. I am concerned, though, because what we've always said is you don't need to go some... There was that, uh, wasn't it, Dr. Shiva doing the, the same same thing about the algorithmic voter fraud. Right. Yeah, yeah. It was very easily disproven. It just, it, it just was not correct. Right. 
And I had to take it to someone who sort of understood analytics, and I said, this doesn't really seem necessarily right, and that was being shared. And I said, I think that Republicans who are hinging uh, this win all on some kind of a, a computer software, that being yeah. the silver bullet, I said, I think they're going to be disappointed. So I do wonder if this is not correct from Sidney Powell. And I, I'm 50-50 on whether she has something or not. But if she is not correct, unfortunately... To me, that could undercut all of the other valid cases. Like, hey, yeah. there were 6,000 votes found in not even a properly audited count in right. Georgia. Or, hey, in Wayne County, none of these precincts are actually balanced. They don't match up. Those are all valid claims that require some kind of investigation. Right. But someone might say, yeah, but you said that there was a fake voter system with Dominion and there was no evidence there. So, and not throw it. it. Yeah. The, 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 the technical reality is that those cases should stand on their own. The right. practical yeah. reality is that that if you're 90 if you're o and 99 like the 100th case like you cannot even help at a subconscious level as right. a judge or a jury or a prosecutor to go why is this one different right. even though you're supposed to look at the evidence independently and yeah. and that's to be said like maybe maybe there isn't a you know widespread software issue but there are issues in oh, these individual and on both sides we need to clean these issues up yeah. Yeah. right they I mean, shouldn't be happening in a free and fair election right exactly we we need to no matter whether they're election changing or not because right. again remember that example we talked about in Michigan the the uh lower you know lower down ballot person who thought that they lost yeah. and see right. and they really won like there are other things out there besides just the president's I'm not saying walk away from it. I'm saying no. if there's something, we got to have it. And if there's right. nothing, we need to be careful about what we're but saying. But like you said, if you're 99 and 02, that does change public perception. But that's also why the media has been trying to say that, oh, Donald Trump, uh, the Trump campaign has filed 22 suits. No, they filed three, maybe four. Right. Other it, people have filed suits. So they right. want you to think that they have this crazy suits. losing right. record. And by exactly. the way, some suits have been rescinded because they're no longer necessarily relevant. So well, some won. Right. I mean, that's the thing is some of them had limited goals that were intended to, for example, the Alito one, where Alito came in and said, hey, we're going to set aside these ballots. That was actually a win. Democrats right. were saying, no, don't do right. any segregation. Yeah. Throw them all together. It's fine. And the Republicans weren't saying, hey, switch all the votes to Trump. No. They were saying, just hold those ballots that are suspicious right. and let's investigate them. And those are the wins. Like, those are the kinds of wins. I mean, ultimately, maybe it changes the outcome of the election or the presidential election. But even in the meantime, a lot of these suits are go yeah. geared towards interim goals that are better for I the I think Republican. that's a good point. They didn't say switch everything to Trump. They said, just in Pennsylvania, hold those ballots that are suspicious. Right. And Alito said, in Philadelphia? And took a scroll. <laughs> um, All of them. You're about to, and then we're going to go to chat. You had a point. I, I feel like, so we've said this a couple of times, and I think we, we had put like something by Thanksgiving, something concrete. We need a, a state to move. We need something to happen for there to be any real chance of this. I yeah. feel like we're we're within like seven days of that. If we don't have something monumental in seven days, yeah. it's not going to happen. Well, I, but I don't know what, I, the issue too is you're not even going to do a recount. No, I know. When there I, weren't poll, when there weren't poll watchers, when you see this this right. evidence of of irregularities, for sure, to the tune of thousands and thousands of yeah. votes just found in, in in Georgia. By the way, that was really just counting the, the votes that came in through the ballot machine. They weren't even doing a total canvassing. Yeah. Also, it was what fifty four hundred. I don't remember the fifty four hundred, fifty seven hundred found. Yeah. Where there's a margin of twelve thousand votes in Georgia, like that doesn't warrant an actual full on like audit. audit. Yeah. yeah. Would you not investigate somebody's taxes? <laughs> Don't listen to us. Listen to the bipartisan board of canvassers who said we need a freaking audit. Think yeah. about that. If I didn't pay that di di that differential between that bill, that I discrepancy, just didn't know it. they would put they'd look me away. Yeah. But when it's a few thousand votes, yeah, ten thousand, couple hundred thousand votes, who cares? Oh yeah, federal government. I'm going to write you an I O U. <laughs> I'd hang on to that one. Next, I want to hang on to that. 142,000. Watch Good Morning Mug Club live every Monday through Thursday at 10.15 Eastern.